Welcome back to Farm Seminar 22. Okay, some very good news and some very, very bad news at the same time. So, good news should be present on the screen there at the minute. And I'll get on to some more good news and a bit of bad news here now in a second. So anyway, good news. Uh, we have half a million, just over half a million at the minute. Uh, I'm not going to pay back the, the bank on that at the minute because we're only paying about a thousand to 1200 a month. So it's only 12 grand a year just to have that loan out, which is worth paying. Um, I don't even, I'd rather sell, not sell, I'd rather give that back whenever we have something like 2 million. At least then we've got 1.5 to play with. So that concludes that. Now the second thing um, to go over is um, these wind turbines. Terrible uh, output from them uh, in terms of like um, income. Uh, there's two of them going at the minute and in theory, let me see if we go here to the shop and we go to construction And it was under production These were supposed to make about 13 920 a month each so that was 26 These were supposed to make 26 A month They only make eight together So one does four and the other does four eight on average the highest I have seen it yet is 12 and that is shockingly bad and like it's supposed to be it's supposed to be 13 and uh, 11 or 12 is the most I've seen it so it's not even it's not even like a quarter no it is a quarter it's a quarter of what it's supposed to be making like eight, let's we'll say eight because that's all I'm. I'm going by the minimum here because that seems. To, I don't know what that where that turns It's gonna maybe like on a good day or something, but it's terrible. Um, so I won't be buying any of them for a while, especially with the money. And I feel a wee bit cheated now from buying those two. They haven't even paid back themselves yet. So let's do some quick math here on our phone. I meant to do this earlier on prior to recording this session, so I had all these here figures ready. Uh, but let me see, how much were the 155? Is that how much they were? 155, so 155 um, times 2. So that's 310,000 that was spent on those, right? And divide that by, say, 8. No, that's not right, is it? No, I've done something wrong. <laughs> Hold on. So they're 155 thousand times two is three on the uh, ten and divide that by eight thousand it will take thirty eight point seven five months and again divide that by twelve again three point two years round that up take the roof value and that or ceiling value and that's four years four years as opposed to one year which the math makes out correct because they're only making about a quarter so with a quarter being four, it takes four years to earn that back. And we're already into year two. So they've just passed the first year. Um, I know we were supposed to stop in October, but um, to be honest, most of the money came from the uh, spinnery. And I haven't planted the cotton yet, and I have missed that season. That was done on purpose because um, well, we have money to spend. So I have been thinking and that got me on to good news part two which is if anybody can spot it at the moment I'll give you a second to see if you can spot it if you haven't I'll give you a clue of something that we couldn't move along here but anyway uh, boulders so the boulder here is completely gone now you might be wondering like what's the benefit of that well I have been scouting the land for like places to um, no, buy up next and let me switch over to my controller I have been scouting around for like places to buy and let's see if we go to the map we are currently where are we on this map ah here we are so we're currently here uh, the tractor has crashed by looks things and we were interested in buying this field here 
and the thing was we were going to do was we were going to square it off along here and take it down and square this whole bit off but the only thing was there was these big rocks that were in the way now unfortunately we can't um remove the rocks via like a proper mod as in you can't like get a tool to do it and get like some money out of it because what i would have liked to have done is like get like a um a rock hammer or a, a kango as some people are referred to as and kango the rock until it disappears and personally if i was making a mod instead of just removing it i would have done something like that where you get a bit of you know like debris or pile of stones out of it and then it disappears and then replaced with a pile of stones not that hard to do it's very very easy i'm saying that and i've never actually made a mod for this game but i, I, I think i've made mods for games before and i can't imagine it being too difficult uh, so which where is the field anyway? Is it this one over here, or was it this one? I think it's this one over here. So yeah, um, what I was thinking, I think it is that one over there. Let's see. Yeah, it's this one here. This big one here. Now I'm just looking at this, and it does look very steep. Cross over the road here. It does look very steep. But doable, very, very doable. So let's test out this here for removing this. So hop out here. Can we remove this? And I think what you're supposed to do is press hitch. So it, it does that. Now this is ground texture. This rock, whatever this is. So it's not an actual object. But if we could turn this here into one big massive field. Easily. This could be all turned into one big massive field. And the thing is, it can be turned into multiple fields as well. So if we go to farmland, if we bought this. Yes, we could, um, we could, uh, see now, we'd, that'd be like the bottom. This would be the side, keep it up along here, go across, and then come down again. And then we could have another field in here, another one in here. Something maybe in there. Um, just other things around here. And what we could do is you could easily plant trees around it. So all these trees. But all this here will have to be removed anyway. All these trees in here will have to be removed. So we will uh, do some logging on this sub part of the series. Uh, but this is assuming that we're going to buy it. Now the other thing is. Um, if I go out of here and go to this. Um, the other thing is. We were going to buy this land here. And that does just give us a few trees. And it gives us room to expand, but it's 222, and then this one is 249, and I f I would feel a wee bit reluctant, you no know, buying this field, despite it being more expensive, and you do get a few trees, but I'd be a wee bit reluctant. But this here is only 380, and you get all this here, and you get like two of these fields can fit inside here easily, if not three. Um, my thinking is. You could get 10 and 25 potentially to fit inside here as well. And the good thing is you can join this on to this. But there is a road going in between. I just think you can delete the road. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if you could. Um, but yeah, something worth thinking about anyway. I would like to buy this one here as well. Maybe get these two here and then have this. You no know, merge this into one field. But you've got the there's a road going in between I think. Is there a road there? Yeah, there's a road to separate. So that's the road is the boundary for these fields. Whereas over here it's different. Uh, and then over here is slightly different as well. So it's the road, but over here is pretty much the same. Number th number 33 would be good as well. You've got, you can go down. I think there's a lane. Yeah, there's a lane splitting that off. But again, that could be got rid of. That's not hard. And then you've got uh, this one here, which is 358. And you've got all these um, trees up here. But even if you did get rid of all the trees, there's no farmable land in there. And it's, if I remember, it's very rocky. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like doing in here would be good. It's just, it is very, it is a very, very rocky. And very hilly as well. 
but I think it's doable. We could smoothen it out with the hand tool. No, you could smoothen it out, but that'd be it, like sometime in the future. But I'm thinking just for the purpose of this here, I think what we'll do is we'll mow it down and then we'll start building fields. Uh, but what I do is I'll probably mark it out with the paint tool, you know, where what the part of the field is and just go like around with the paint tool and then I think you can create fields with the paint tool as well I think painting uh, animal mod asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass gravel and rock yeah see this is this can be all done easily if needed the only thing is uh, how do you get perpendicular I suppose we could use the UI for it to get perpendicular so for example if you had this level here and then use this here's your perpendicular line if you can go up like that there so for example like if you were to rotate around how do you rotate oh, like this here so for example if you were to rotate this keep that sort of in line there and you know that's perpendicular to to about there there's just different ways of doing it there's a lot of trees in there um so yeah just a shame about these Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll think of something anyway. Forest, ground, grass. Don't think. Can you create fields from it? Slope, soften, level, raise, and lower. How do I lower? Oh, it's the right button. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's just me thinking aloud anyway, we can delete all these rocks and do whatever's needed here. But the first thing is, all these trees will have to be removed. So, I think we should buy it. Number 9. 380. Yes. Congratulations, now we own number 9, and that leaves us with 145. And we've got all this here to uh, cut. So, do you know what I might actually do? I might. We've got 145 left. We could take this grass and we could sell it, or we could bail it. A lot of work involved in it. But I think it'd be worth it. But anyway. We've uh, got trees to remove, so I think what we'll do is we'll rent from some machinery, especially the thing for cutting it. How much is that? Let's see, uh, forestry machines. We would get uh, the likes of... What's that there? What's this do? This machine breaks trunks into wood chips. How does it do that? Oh, it's got a grabber or no? Oh, how much space? 33 is not bad. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that. There's quite a lot of good trees in here. So these could be turned into... Hmm. I think it would be worth... Just on the topic of actually getting all this stuff. Let's go to construction here. Because I think, if I remember right, planks are very good so where's the lumber yard uh, carpentry carpentry uh, there's there but we need the one to turn into planks how do you make planks spinnery sugar mill tailor shop cereal oil grape bakery carpentry well there's carpentry there but how does it put it into planks? How do you make planks? Biogas plant. Whoa. 
That's quite a lot. Carpentry. I, I don't know how you make planks. Buildings. Production. How do you make planks? See, let's go to the hat menu. Forestry. You can either sell your wood or a carpentry, the sawmill, or the baghouse farm. Once you have selected the appropriate selling point, transport the field. Yeah. Choose the. First, you need the raw material farm. Yeah, buy a wood chip machine. That's logs and wood chips. First. Take a seat in the vehicle, select the desired length, the harvest chunks, and close button, three. Turn the machine on, position the header, transfer down as fast, and then... Okay. But I, I don't know how, to, how you make wood chips, unless there's a machine that actually does it. No, like a mobile sawmill or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's try the icons. No. Planks. There's planks there, but how do you make planks? Wood. So, okay. I feel like this will be a Google. Well, here's selling points. Biogas heating plant. Factories. Turn your logs and get tools. Takes the goods and transform them into different products. Well, that would be, you know, worthwhile. So let's take the logs. And then you get these here. Anyway, uh, let me see. We have to go down the bottom of the field here to not not far away from where we are hoping to sell it. Uh, oh yeah, we can't. This we don't own that land. Now we could put it in here. Now is there a fence or something there? There is. Okay, so that's something worth noting. Can we get around? How far away does that fence go? I don't want to put it too far. We don't own this land in here. So that's no good. So it'll have to go somewhere in here. Somewhere where it's easy to get to. Right. We've got tr three things here. So that's a tool thing, drop off. We could put it there. And then that's your pick up there on the right. So we could, you could actually put it like this. So I'd rather pick up to be here. See about here? Close enough to the road. That's fair enough, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Has it put much of an impact on this? No, it hasn't. And uh, it looks like you can get everything there. So you can get information, you can get your drop-off point, and you can get your tools there to send it up by the looks of things. And then you've got this. Looks good. 
Look at this. Do we own this? Let's see. I wonder if we own that. We should really. Don't think so. Anyway, let's get uh, let's go down here. Uh, because we're gonna rent those tools to cut these here down and then take them over to the carpentry inside. I don't know where those blanks come from. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look that up on Google. It's a Google um, question for that. We'll fly down here anyway and we'll see what um, will happen. It would be nice to get all this here nice and uh, done, but I, can, I can't see too many hard working tools going on this because we'll have to upgrade the tractor with the wide tires. Oh, bit of a lump there, isn't it? Not too bad though. What's this here? Ah, uh, so good. Switch one to can't see that, what that says. No. Okay. Ah, here we go. So, carpentry. We need to put either wood or planks into it. But can we turn it into planks? How do we... Do we need a sawmill? There's no sawmill on this map, is there? I didn't see one on it. Because that would make sense, you know, if there was like a sawmill or something. G L W Spinnery, spinnery. No. Sawmill. There is. Yeah, there is the sawmill. Ah, so we can take it. We can take it to this. Let's take the place or visit. Um, by building sawmill four. No, but I want to set. How do I set it up? If I was to set this here up. Here we go. Oh, no, that's. That only brings you to here, but that's no good. Because I would want to be able to pick up. There's planks there. Switch hand tool. Show. Okay. I've, I'd, I've need to test it out. Yeah. I knew there was a sawmill in this game. But anyway, at least we, we know it's there anyway. And we can take stuff to it. So, we've got 82. Let's um, get into the process of looking for machinery to take care of those trees. And I'm thinking of something like the... Well, we'll go good on the... Um, we'll go good on the... On the equipment because there's no point cheaping out. Right, so we're looking for something like this here. What's that? Out there is pretty good looking. I'd say that would be very. For a variety pills. Uh, that's your uh, thing for picking them up. Uh, you're high up. Um, I find things like that they're pretty much useless. I don't want to say they're useless, but I find them hard to use. What's the difference between this and the other one? That does twenty. That does twenty. And that'll do up to 80. 
But it's kind of better just to go with the big stuff. And uh, one of those, I've used one of them before, but I don't really like it. Joe, you're better going with the, the wheel loader. So, if we were to take the trees, we would have to rent. Well, how much is this here to rent? That's the thing, yeah, that's for cutting your trees. How much is that to rent? 22, so that leaves us with 60k. And if we were to rent the... The wheel loader, I find these here the best. Um, how much is that to lease? 12. Okay, so that leaves us. That's very good. That leaves us with about, say, 45. So, we get that. And then you get the, the, the attachment for it. Then you need a trailer to transport all this. A trailer of some sort to transport all this here. So, it would be... Uh, forestry equipment, something like this. Yeah. The thing is, loading it up is one thing, we're getting it off as a second. Did that train line run along there, that sawmill? I might have checked that out. Does the uh, train line run along it? It doesn't. So, uh, see, I thought you could put logs on it, but you can't. Hmm. Because it would have been good to. Would have been good to just um unload onto the train and do whatever, but that's different. So, transport. Transport. Hmm. Transport of those logs. How would we do that? You could get something like this. You could get something like that and transport them, but how fast is it? It's only 20 kilometers an hour. It's very slow. Whereas you're better with a trailer. That there would be good. That's cheaper as well. Realistically, you don't need to go mad off road with the, these things. This would be just enough to take that. And then, of course, you have to pick up the wood planks. That's a different story as well. And I'm sure there's probably production costs and you no, know, like getting it cut down into planks. And then taking them, having to take the planks over to that uh, place there converted into furniture and I don't know we'll have to work from there but anyway uh, let's not get too sidetracked anyway I think what we'll do is we'll get uh, we'll start off with we'll, we will need this machine here anyway so let's uh, rent it am I reading that right just 23 hold on why am I what am I doing wrong here? No. Why did I think that was 22? Might have been looking at the wrong machine. Anyway. Let's lease. And how's it pretty? 4,700 and we get 8,000 for the windmill. So yeah, we, we don't get any negatives from that. Right. Um, That's the main thing. So let's um, switch around. Okay. Does anybody steer with this thing? Um, but yeah, let's uh, take it on over anyway. It's a weird setup. I don't to actually drive all these. There's that uh, horn. Oh, there's multiple cameras. Uh, so we're going up there on the left. So it makes sense to start cutting up there now. So we'll fly on up here. Uh, but yeah, on the just on the topic of what we're doing at the moment. So logging was one of the big things we would want to do. But we're going to cut all these trees down. Remove all the stumps. 
and then um, hopefully we'll have enough money from all the trees and stuff that was sold to not level the land but maybe smoothen out a few parts of it and then we will have to create fields I need to look at doing that then we create the fields but I cut all the grass first maybe build all that because uh, all that grass up there would be worth you no know, for the animals for feeding so we just have to go on over here I suppose we'll start close to the factory anyway cross over here yeah we'll start over beside the factory Hope this thing doesn't go on diesel. Wait, we own this field, don't we? Because it might start off down here on the right. Yeah, we own this. So we can start off down here. And we can work our way around. Yeah. So we'll start here. So let's just get one. Okay, let's switch. Anyway. Unfold it. First need to unfold. All oh, right, that's a unfold. There we go. Turn on tree. Right, okay. Put it down a little bit. Now, how do we cut? Uh, change cut length Y. Well, what size does those trailers take? Because if we were, let's just think ahead here. If we were to get a trailer, what would it be? I would say it'd be this one. Yeah. And you don't want anything too big. How big is that? Doesn't say. I don't know. I'm not sure what how big that is. Let's go with 10 meters. So 20 meters. 5 meters. I don't know. I feel like 9 would be good, but that's very tall. I think we'll go with 5 for now. Just see how big that is. Um, okay. Uh, change cut land. I don't know how you cut. Just uh, trying to use the controller here. Oh, I feel like we're not on it yet. I think that's, that's on it there now. Eh? 
I, yeah, I love her. No. That's sad, Dustin. I don't know how you cut this thing. Cut length, yeah. How do I cut this? We definitely do own this, don't we? Yeah, we do because you wouldn't be able to cut that. Cut. Okay. Now we need to tell it. That's good enough there. That's The suitable sizes, I think we'll go larger. So we'll go at nine. Yeah, I'd say nine meters is enough. Right. It'll take a while to get used to, but. Yeah, it, I don't like the way that this is reversed. Yeah, that's perfect land there. You can get that all in the trailer. Anyway, um, I'm going to end it there. Uh, so the next episode we will get all those there cut. And we'll get that trailer around that and put all the stuff into it. And then we can take it over to the sawmill, test one piece, see if it does um, turn into planks. And then our goal is to take all that stuff into planks and find out how to transport it. I'm going to do a bit of googling and see how uh, you transport those planks. And then we'll work from there. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If any comments or any suggestions, do drop them down below. Or visit Discord channel that's linked in the description. Follow Discord channel for the schedule as well as the information board. There you'll be able to see what games we're playing as well as when those games will be coming out onto YouTube. If you're enjoying the content, do consider subscribing and drop us a like if you enjoy what you see. It's really appreciated. And as you know, uh, it shows what people are interested in the most. And I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators. You helped make these videos possible.